Hi everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm assembling this control cabinet for a CNC machine, which is this giant guy right here that's in my garage. It's a very large machine, 48 by 48, all made out of aluminum extrusion. But I was sitting here assembling these control wires for it, and I thought maybe you guys would like to see a very cool tool that I get to use sometimes uh, on industrial electronics things like UV lights and a few other things that use industrial type of electronics. That would be this guy right here. This is a wire fair rule crimper. So a wire fair rule are these little guys right here that fit over wires and you use this guy to crimp the fair rules onto the end of the wire. It's a very neat little tool and the advantage is for these guys right here. Any place where you have to screw down a wire, you're best to use a wire fair rule. You can see them installed on the ends of these tiny little wires right here. I believe that these are 28 gauge wires. They're really tiny. And these wires actually go to the servo right here. See this NEMA 34 servo motor? And in the back, in the very back of it is the encoder. And the encoder goes into this uh, serial line right here which comes out right here and it goes into these servo controllers so what you want to do is use ferrules because these have a lot of advantages that most people don't realize one of the advantages to ferrules is that it keeps your wires nice and organized you can see them right there I don't have to worry about little splinters of copper going into the port next to it shorting it out causing errors later on. They crimp in very nicely. You can see I've got different gauges. I've got some large ones right there, some medium, and some really small ones. And I've got a few of them. I think this is my last one that I'm working on. But this is a perfect example of wire ferrules. Those are power lines. Those are 48 volt DC power lines, these big guys right here. And you can see they're right next to each other on these tiny little blocks. And since they're right next to each other, you don't want even a tiniest little piece of copper extending from one port to the next. And you can tell it's very easy for that kind of thing to happen with these guys. So what we do is we strip back the wires, we put on the fair rule, we crimp it down, and then they get screwed down in these terminal blocks. But that's just a really cool tool, and they're not very expensive. This whole entire kit with the pliers is $25 on Amazon if I remember correctly and look at all the fair rules there's over 1800 pieces in this kit for $25 and it, to be honest you don't really have an excuse not to use these now I have a really good reason for using these on um, video monitors in operating rooms I had a brand new Carl Stortz video system that was installed and what they did is they stripped back the wires and they screwed them into terminal blocks like that. And when you do that, part of the cable gets pinched down by the screw down. But the other pieces just kind of splinter off and they go around the screw so that you don't get them all. And that creates a hot spot or due to thermal expansion, it will eventually just pull out and they come loose. But the fair rule, I hope you guys can see it right here. The fair rules are a really soft nickel-plated copper. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to focus too well on them. But anyway, they're a really soft nickel-plated copper. And when you screw down your terminal block, it actually creates an indentation into the fair rule. And that little indentation will actually act as a set screw. And it keeps the wire inside the terminal block. Here, watch this. I'll pull one out. So you can see, I've got these guys screwed in and I can pull on them pretty good and they will not come out. And they're very clean for an install. You can tell that one right there is not pushed in all the way because uh, it's a little bit longer of a terminal than the other ones. I don't know why, it is what it is. But it's just perfectly fine, just like that. They're all nicely insulated from one another. And the best part is, is if you're troubleshooting, you can pull them out of the little terminal block and you can test them and then you can put them back in and you don't have to wire 
you don't have to worry about twisting the wires back up when you stick them in and possibly causing a short or some other uh, tech created error. But that's it. I just wanted to show you guys real quick. This is a uh, fair rule, wire fair rule crimper set. Amazon, 25 bucks, and they will make your life so much better. I went through a lot of my operating room lights and replaced them with wire fair rules, and it solved the problem. Every time you move the lights around, the, the wires wanted to pull out of the terminal blocks that were powering the circuit board. This guy right here, cool tool. I'm gonna give you guys a couple other videos in the near future, so, some other cool tools that I use all the time, and uh, maybe it's some things that you don't know about. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked the video, and uh, I know that I haven't released videos too quickly, but if you guys seen my last video, you understand that there is some things going on at my work, which is creating a, a little bit of a problem and making it difficult for me to create really cool videos. But I've got one or two of them in the mix. I just got to edit the video and then I'll release it. And I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching, guys.